Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap has got one or two different things in. I've got the normal machine and a little bit of plasma cutting, but I also spend a little bit of time sorting out my metal melting furnace. Um, I've never used it for two or three years now. It used to be run on gas. I've modified it to run on uh, oil. I've got an oil burner. I show a little bit of that. I have got some casting to do, so hopefully next week, depending on the weather, that could be some casting to show. There's a few more names come in for the monthly draw. If you haven't entered me draw, all you need to do is send me an email. That's my address up there, and all I need is your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket, and it's drawn out on the first Sunday of every month, and there's some really nice prizes in. It's completely free. Just a little way of me saying thanks very much for all the help and support I've had. I've decided to sell that little knife I'd lathe I've got. Um, I haven't really used it and it doesn't do anything that my Harrison lathe does not do. Uh, it is up for sale. Like I say, that's my email address. If you're interested, send an email. It's also advertised on the Cool Workshop site. Kerosene burner, that's the old nozzle for propane. It is no attraction being it's burnt it away. So I'm going to cut a hole in there for that to go through. I think this costable cement will be weak, but it's not, it's absolutely incredibly hard. So I'm going to try drilling some holes around there, see what can weaken it. And we'll go from there. been quite some time since I last had the furnace out and did any casting. This furnace used to be run on propane. I've modified it so I can put an oil burner in here just to keep the cost the cost down really. I think the oil will also be a little bit hotter than the propane. I'm going to get the burner out, fire it up and we'll see what sort of results we get. I'll get some close-up shots to show exactly what I've done to it. You saw in the earlier footage that's the, the hole we've cut in. That's where the new burner goes into there. If we look inside, that's the hole where the flame comes through. Crucible stands in the centre, and the flame should swirl around the outside of the crucible. This is the oil fired burner I'm going to use. I'm going to fire it up before I put it in just to show you what sort of flame pattern it has. There's a little bleed point there, I'm going to need to bleed it. This is the control box. Inside the heat has a little foot or an Excel. Before the heat has start, the cell has to say dark. And once the heat has run, the cell obviously says light to the flame. If the flame goes out, the foot or an cell senses this and stops it pumping fluid. There's a friend of mine, Peter Meller, kindly sent us up a new control box because the original one wasn't working. I've learned quite a lot about these uh, since I've started messing around with it. So the first thing is to do is bleed it and then we'll fire it up.
five minutes. So if you want to do a red in the bottom of there, that will melt aluminium. No problem at all. That'll be a proper bracket made to hold the burner assembly in place. This is just to make sure that's actually going to work. That's quite like sealing to do around here. All these gaps need sealing up. So there's flames coming out of them. But basically it's up and running and I'm looking forward to getting some casting done. I've got one or two parts to do for different people, um, steam engine related stuff, and one or two casters for myself. As a lad on one of the forums I go on to is made a very nice trolley for a stationary engine. The only thing that spoils it is he's using modern nuts and bolts. Horrible hexymetric nuts and he's asked me if I can make them some square old fashioned looking nuts but with a 12 mil thread in so I'm going to make four 12 mil old fashioned square nuts I seem to spend more and more time making new things look old anyway it, uh, we'll have a good set of and out This tip on here has damaged, um, so I'm just going to leave it in because this square bar is not going to do it any favours at all. This is actually key seal, so it's decent, decent material. I'm going to put a chamfer on the end of it, end of the nut that looks, that looks a job. That was quite nice. Top and drill for 12 by 175. That's an extra sharp and drill, you can see the way the force coming off even on both sides. different top should go into this. this should work a lot better that's a proper machine top designed to be worn straight in definitely 
a lot better. You can see the smoke coming out of here to Bristol. Right, so that's a standard 12mm bolt. I'm sure that'll do for what he wants. I don't want to try porting these off or cutting them off on the hacksaw. We'll have a little bit of torch on a porting tool and see what happens, I think. Twelve millimeters in my face, and it should be quite, quite nice. It's no good pissing about with a bottom tool. You either got to wind it in, or you don't wind it in. Done, I've parted them off to roughly the same length and I've measured the thinnest one and I'm all making them all the same thickness as that one. They're all within half a mil anyway. that they look a lot better than that on something that's old. If these are heated up and then quenched into some dirty engine oil they'll go black and have a nice colour about them. That's what I normally do anyway to make them look oldish and sometimes knock the corners off a little bit depends how old you make them look. <coughs> 